Traveling to a place like Indonesia is a really unique experience. You've got to go there with the attitude of, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen because I guarantee you on any plans that you make, they're going to change one way or another. It's like everything and more, you know, like I, I didn't really know what to expect. It was kind of like, it was kind of like an adventure almost and it's just proven to be like basically the best trip that I've ever had. Travel light, that's our motto. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. We've got about 400 pounds of stuff, <laughs> maybe, and we're all really hungover. Um, so I think Rio's still got his froth head on, so he's probably going to get us to tune the chip yeah, yeah, yeah. and hook it up for us. But hopefully she doesn't. Good idea, son. Smoke is too bad. No worries. <laughs> We got charged one million. One million. One million. Rupia. Rupia, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's like a hundred bucks. Yeah. Nice. It's just basically someone told me a long time ago that that you just you have to go with the flow. You have to take it easy. Whatever it is, it is. If you go with a plan and a set schedule, then you're never gonna fall, follow it. Great uh, doing trips with your friends and meeting up with you know who you like to have fun with like Ben, Bear, Rio, and I had such a good time on this trip. This trip came about uh, from us guys hanging out in Bali and seeing a, a pretty substantial swell on the way. We'd already got some really good conditions in Bali, so we thought we'd uh, 
uh, try something new and we got on a seedy little plane and flew to another island and ended up scoring some of the best waves we've ever got so it was a pretty sick trip. Cold feet are just a sign to move If you're alone in the dark and can't escape well I can Rio and I have been traveling for the past few months. Um, we started off at uh, my house in California and we worked our way over to Hatteras for the Triple S event. And then we went back to Hawaii for a couple weeks and then we headed over to Reunion Island. And after Reunion we headed to uh, South Africa. Um, we spent some time in Durban. We spent some time in Mozambique. And we also spent some time in Cape Town. Uh, that was super fun. Um, and now that we're here, it's, it, it's great because we kind of saved the best for last. And, I'm always excited to come here and it usually has the best to offer. My name's Ian Aldridge, I'm from Santa Barbara, California, and I ride for Nash Kiteboarding. I just like to watch surfing for some reason it motivates me and I don't know what, what it is about it but I just I guess it's just because I like to surf a lot and I try, try and base my kite surfing off my surfing and surfing off my kite surfing. I think Ian Aldridge is the most progressive rider I know. He kills it in any surf from, you know, like ankle high to huge barrels. Like he's the one, he's the one that everyone wants to be. He's the one that just goes out and rips. So I'd say Ian's one of the top riders in the world besides Ben Wilson. The guy is, he's a class act. He's hilarious. He's kind and generous, so he'll help you with whatever he can. And the guy goes out in the surf and just does stuff I can't even imagine doing. Definitely one of the first first kids I've, I've, I've seen and was instantly amazed by um, with what he was doing. He's so innovative and, and really makes um, crappy conditions look really fun. The way that he rides is exactly the way you know that I want to ride and exactly the way I want to see the sport go and it was really really cool seeing him ride in real life because he absolutely rips. You know, for me he is you know the one guy that's gonna be pushing the sport for the next ten years. I came down the line, I blew through this section and I was going pretty fast and then uh, I don't know what happened but Rio was going super slow and I was just going super fast and I just ran right into him. It was the funniest thing I've seen in a while. And I don't know, no one got hurt, but it was pretty funny to watch if you saw it. I was actually on the inside and seen it all happen, you know, from a whole different perspective. And it was, it was pretty funny. And they're super lucky that they didn't hurt each other because Ian definitely took him out. And then their kites got tangled and they got washed through the reef and, and the whole deal. But um, it was definitely one of the funniest things I've seen this trip, for sure. <laughs> Bear Carey uh, from Santa Barbara, California, ride for Airrush Kites. Well, there's a big left of barrels over super shallow reef, and uh, I was about to pull into the barrel and I got scared, so I straightened out, and basically the lip just came down right on my head and I got pushed to the bottom. But luckily, my kite. Um, pulled me through the wave pretty easily but it just looked kind of gnarly and it kind of scared me a little bit so I'd consider that like the worst wipeout I had this trip. You know he's got such a good attitude and you know that's really showed from the start of the trip you know like this is his first trip in some really decent waves and at the start you know like he was sketched out and it was you know like he was just trying to find his comfort zone and whatever and it was really cool yesterday to see him 
actually all his hard work that he's put in over the last week it was really cool to see him get in the barrel and I know that's all he wanted to do and he went out there and he done it man the kid is going to be you know like he's he's going to do good in the future he's got a really good style and he is ripping for sure their style of riding is sick um, I've, I've seen him progress super quick lately um, it's like every other session he's doing new things and at least you know every session he's trying new things and I guess I don't know where he gets all these ideas but it's super cool to watch him you know my name is Rio Stevens I'm from the North Shore of Oahu and I'm sponsored by Nash Skateboarding it will push you down and stand you up so don't give up this is not I don't know, it seemed like the best, best part of the set session all day. The waves, almost everyone was barreling and, and li lining up. And, you know, the, that right there is the moments that you look for on trips. Uh, Rio is, for me, you know, the best rider with straps. Uh, he absolutely kills it in the waves. He's so powerful, he has the biggest turns and the kit charges, you know, like some of the barrels he pulls into and some of the stuff that he's doing is amazing. He's definitely one of the one of the top guys, you know. Um, definitely pushing the sport and uh, in the right direction as well. Um, he's also a cool cool guy to hang around with and spend time traveling together with him is always fun as well. So. Not sure why I'm telling you this, but Charles Jason Wolcott. I uh, formerly lived in uh, Ventura, California for 16 years and now I'm living in Bali, Indonesia. I love shooting anything that moves fast and the ocean and, and anything that's beautiful. And I don't know, man, I just like being behind the camera. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's just an amazing thing to do. I love surfing, but um, when I got a kite, I just kind of figured out, like, you can catch twice as many waves, you can do just as fun of turns and, and it's fun because I can I can go shoot surfing in the morning which pays the bills most of the time and then you know the wind comes up the surfers are pissed off and want to go home and I'm like nah I'm staying here to get a taxi home and go on kiteboarding and catch about a hundred waves and go home and wake up the next morning and go work again. It's, it's awesome I love kiting. Yeah kiting's really starting to look a lot like um, professional surfing in a way. I mean, I, sh I shoot a lot with um, really innovative guys here in Bali and, and also in Ventura with guys like Dane Reynolds and over here, you know, you got everybody coming through here, Neon, Agis, and all these different guys coming through. And it's, it's really fun to see guys like Ian Aldridge and, and Ben Wilson, you know, just blowing the tail out, air reverses and, and indie grab, frontside unstrapped airs. And it, it, it's just really looking a lot like surfing. It's, it's really fun for me to actually to shoot now because it's, it's kind of like watching the same sport but just a, a different twist on it. It's great. Ben Wilson, Sunshine Coast Australia and I ride for Slingshot Kiteboarding. Wipeout this trip was actually not kiteboarding for once, it was surfing. Um, uh, it, was a, it wasn't a huge day, but it was a pretty pretty solid day and I got this one wave and uh, it was actually one of the better waves I caught that morning and I was in the barrel and it was quite a little bit crumbly and I couldn't really see where I was going and then um, a bit further down the line there was somebody right in my road and he pretty much just threw his board right in my path. And I hit it side on and uh, fin chopped his board all the way through the stringer and I went over the falls and um, just got pretty well slammed onto the reef and um, yeah, it was a pretty bad wipeout. 
Ben Wilson. God, man, that guy, I've been seeing him for years. He's just one of those guys that you always want to work with. He's one of those guys that just rips really hard and super fun to watch kite. I know he's a great surfer, and I was really excited to get the chance to come over here and work with him. It was uh, kind of one of those things that, as a kiteboard photographer and a surf photographer, you want to work with a guy who's as good a surfer as Ben is and as good as he is at kiting. You just never know what he's going to do. And, you know, it was it was great fun, and to see how professional he is with his whole persona and the way he carries himself, and, and the way that uh, he promotes Slingshot and, and the products that he represents. He's a true professional. And, you know, what's funny is I really think that these uh, the kids that came over Rio, Ian and, and uh, Bear, especially Bear and Ian, I think it was good to hang out with um, a guy who's a true professional and get to see kind of what's what it's like to to be a professional athlete. You know, cause that's what Ben is. Done a lot of traveling to, together to a few phenomenal spots, and and she's definitely one of the guy, one of the guys I really look forward to talking with and spending time with, and and he just makes makes trips so much more fun to go on. I mean, uh, it's great when you get really good conditions in the kiting and the surfing and, and work out re really well, and you score that way. But to but to make um, Everything else just as fun, fun, fun is a rare, rare thing, and Ben's one of those guys for, for me. I really enjoy hanging out with and sharing a beer with. Meeting Ben Wilson was really cool. I've always wanted to uh, ride with a with a top guy like that, and finally coming on this trip and getting to meet him and ride with him, it's uh, it's amazing. Like he rips. He's super nice, really friendly. Um, he's just a really genuine guy, and and I'm. And I'm happy to know him. And met Ben in California um, about a year ago. It was super cool meeting him then because he was one of the guys that I've always seen in the magazines and the movies. And I've always looked up to him and I was super stoked to meet him. And to get a chance to come on a trip with him is, is you know, I was so stoked and I was got so excited. And, you know, to be able to come on a trip like, with one of the, with some of the people that you've always looked up to is, you know, it's, it's it can be so fun. Uh, today for sure, Ian was a standout. He got out there early and he was a wave magnet. He was getting pretty much every good wave that came through, and it was it was really good to see him um, actually score score this wave because he's come here a few times before and he's never actually scored it and. I know he had reservations about coming this time, so it was really cool to actually see him get some good waves and see how good this place really gets. It's deeper inside Find the peace that keeps you here When the problem's weight has broken your feet And the battle's fallen Rise above with a silver tear And have the courage that comes with freedom When the life you lead is a fallen chain Yeah, it's super cool um, riding here because there's that left that just kind of bowls in on this little reef and it kind of breaks in the same spot almost every time so you know kind of where to line up after a, a few sessions and at first you're kind of like, it's kind of intimidating but uh, yeah, after a few sessions it's kind of like you kind of want to try and go deeper and it's, uh, it's a cool feeling because the other day it was it was pretty big. I guess it was like maxing size for that place, and the tide was a little high, I guess. And uh, I don't know, but getting barreled there is so nice because the the wind direction is perfect. It just your lines kind of stay like out out of the wave, and it just pulls you right out for some reason. It just feels great, you know. Every surfer knows that that epic day of barrels is just so few and far between and it's even harder for kite surfing. You have the extra element of the wind and then the wind, you know, actually wrecking the waves and making them more sloppy or just closing down the barrel. So to actually get barreled kite surfing is one of the hardest things that I've ever done because for all the elements to come together, 
is a really, really rare day. And on this particular trip, we had a couple of days that were just epic and everybody got some incredible barrels. And it's just one of the most memorable trips that I've ever been on. Man, I came out, I was on the beach, and I'm like, I'm going out, I'm gonna knock fins off and swim in instantly. I'm gonna have a repeat of yesterday. It's over, it's finished. I launched my kayak get about 10 feet off the beach. Boom, hit a puff of wind. Get out to the channel, boom, straight up here, and I'm having to myself. I just went in circles. I had like three, three barrels, boom, 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 in a row. I think two of them were in the same set. I've, I've lifted, I, I, it was worth the trip, the full summer made. That session was insane, it was so good. That was pretty be sick because um, Rio was the first one to get out there and um, I wasn't sure if I was going to make it because where I was there wasn't too much wind and it was dead low tide. And then um, I seen him getting some waves and I managed to get out there and uh, as soon as I went past him he's like, dude, it's so sick, I got like six barrels and I got two in one set. And um, I was just dropping out and I was, and my first wave I totally got barrels so I was pretty stoked and it was a pretty sick session. Alright, so we're stuck out here on this reef, probably about half a mile from shore. Uh, the wind it was, it was absolutely going off, there was really good barrels, everyone was getting sick waves and then the wind just totally stopped. So now we're stuck out here with kites and boards and everything and I don't know what's going to happen but it's all good because we had such a sick session and it was all worth it. So sick. Hey, I'm, I'm loving it right now but I think we're going to be hating it in about two seconds. Yeah, now I'm going to be and now we've got to figure out how to get Whoa. in. Whoa! We're stuck out here on this street. Here okay, guys. Well, we do have a boat right here. Maybe we should roll up our case and put it in the boat. <laughs> Best thing I've seen Rio do on the trip is it actually didn't involve being on the water. It was uh, how he took command over this catastrophe of. of cat shredded bladders man the, I don't know what happened but they stayed at my place of all places and there's a, a couple cats and they decided to uh, I don't know what they do with they're sharpening their claws and the kites or whatever it is but uh, all the boys tried to pump up their kites and there was nine kites with shredded bladders and Rio just I don't know what he did man but he took control got all the Indo guys into it patching holes and just getting in together so we could get the job done it was, it was amazing. It was drill start, kind of drill sergeant shit. It was great. Cat scratch. I think we're going cat hunting tonight. We kill them all. I think I finally got it. Note to self: duct tape works good. The sail repair tape does hold, and um, it's a good thing too because we are in the middle of nowhere, and we would be crying otherwise. Cats, cats got to them. Creeping in the night, bought up our shit. It's kind of unfortunate, but it's, kind of, it's cool because they're doing it for me. I don't even have to do anything. It's perfect. Our kites are messed up, but it's got nothing to do with the kites. It's got to do with the cats. So, these are actually the best kites you can get. So, it's the cats. <laughs> Okay, having a caddy is so nice, especially uh, Boss, you know, he's like the happiest guy I think down here and you know, it's cool because you wake up in the morning, eat some breakfast and they're ready to take you wherever you want to go and they know where it's good because they've heard all the reports and you know, by lunchtime your kite's already pumped up on the beach and there's like no effort into getting your gear, to re gear ready, it's just like you walk down the beach and you're ready to go and you know, they're always stoked and they're always screaming and you know, with excitement, it's so funny, it's cool. They repair my kites, they pump up my kites, they do everything for me, I don't even have to do anything, I just have to go to the beach and kite, it's, it's perfect, I love it. <laughs> and it's pretty 
cool actually walking down to the beach and having your pipe bar handed to you and all you've got to do is launch your pipe and go out. Okay, almost ready to call it quits, but he's got my bigger kite, which is perfect for what I need right now. And, you know, within five minutes, and I don't think I did anything but straighten my lines out. I had my kite re-swapped out, pumped up, and I'm back on, on the water. It's, it's, like, it's like a pit stop in a Na NASCAR event. It's just, it's just boom, 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 done, back out. It's hard leaving here after. Uh, for me as a rider, you know, to be able to do this because you're putting yourself in a spot that you're not normally in and you get to see, you know, the action in first hand right in your face. It's like your own personal little stadium. The tide was going really low, about as low as it got caught that day. I think it was a shelf on the inside. And, and I remember being on the shoulder and Ben coming up from behind and the water sucking nearly dry. It was probably just enough water for his spin, spins to, to clear. And he comes up, stalls right on that point, right on the shelf in the shallowest part. He grabs the rail and he went down right there. Not to be good, you know. No water, shallow, sharp reef, but just nailed it, nailed it perfectly, got right in the thick of it all. The wave sucked up over him, went around them, and just nailed it perfectly. Just came, just got barreled, came out. And it can get really heavy at times, you know, because we're really close to each other. And, um, you know, like when you go down in a barrel or you're in a barrel, sometimes it's really hard to see what's going on and the two kites are, you know, right next to each other. And a lot of times, you know, like the, the lines just tangle up before you even know what's happened. And, and we had a couple of times yesterday where shit went really wrong and it gets pretty chaotic, you know, that you're right in the impact zone, your kite's down and your board's tangled up and you've got a camera and the set's coming. There's just so much going on. And I think that's what really adds to the intensity of, of tracking, especially in waves like that. A whole different perspective and way that you look at the waves because you're not ever usually in that position. And, and I get stoked on doing it and um, 
you know, like it's a, it's a really good time and it's just another thing that you share, you know, with your friends that you're on this trip with. I'd ever get a chance to come on a trip like this and coming on it was just it was amazing and I'm stoked. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> we should probably do that one again, dude. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, flies and shit. <laughs> Cause I got nothing left to give. But I'm gonna leave it all behind. But I'm gonna leave it all one of my best moments and one of Rio's worst moments he was uh, kind of in on the inside and his kite was down you could tell he was just fuck he was I shouldn't say that
basically you've got to go there with the attitude of, you know, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And it's totally out of your control, you know. If you are... I guess I was pretty upset. <laughs> It's just awesome coming in from a session, uh, a really good session and Dad's just so pumped up and fired up about how good the session was and he's like, oh my god, you know, I just got the best barrels, you know, like this trip. He's like, I got a barrel of Rio, then straight after it Ian got a barrel, and then straight after it you got a barrel and uh, he, you know, like he gets just as stoked as what I get, you know, when we get really good stuff. and. It's just a, just a great thing and I just feel so lucky to be able to share, you know, what I'm doing with him. Well, Benny, that looks like I've left it up for another year. It's been a great, great year for me, as always. I always feel a little bit sad. Anyway, thanks, mate. It's been sensational. I must hope there's many more of them.